BBC Radio Oxford, it is Friday afternoon. So if you are a regular listener to my show, you'll know we are big fans of giraffes on the afternoon show. In fact, for the World Cup, we had a giraffe called Century from Cotswold Wildlife Park who we used to predict the results of England games very badly, but you can't win them all. Well, we've got some more giraffe news for you today. A little later this year, nearly 300 giraffes will embark on a trip on an RAF Voyager from Bryce Norton. Yes, it is absolutely true, but the giraffes are all, in fact, soft, cuddly toys. Now, this is all part of a fundraiser called Giraffes on Tour. It's in memory of Louise Conway, who died from a rare form of leukaemia at just the age of nine. Now, her cuddly giraffe, Geoffrey, went absolutely everywhere with her. Um, I'm joined right now by pilot Mark Scott, uh, who is involved with this. Good afternoon, Mark. It's great to have you with us. Hello, thank you very much for having me. So, Mark, let's um, let's start by telling us where you are right now, because you're used to dealing with little cuddly giraffes, but you've never kind of uh, been maybe this close to some larger ones at the moment, which is where you are. Yeah, right now I'm sitting next to the giraffes at Cotswold Wildlife Park, and I've got the lions just over my shoulder as well, so if you can hear roaring in the background, that's what that is. So you're probably close to Century then, who we used to predict the World Cup at some point. Yeah, right, right in front of me, in fact. <laughs> All right, well, um, let's talk about how Giraffes on Tour got started then, if you could tell us the story. Yeah, sure. So, like you said, there was a, a girl, she was nine, Louise Conway. Um, she was treated at Great Ormond Street Hospital for a very rare form of leukaemia. Um, very sadly, she died in 2013, but her dad was trying to think of ways to keep her memory alive and she loved this little toy giraffe Jeff that she had. Um, and then many years later, kind of her dad Ian's love of airplanes and, and giraffes collided because some of his friends set up a group online and they started arranging to fly cuddly giraffes in airplanes. So really a lot of RAF airplanes like the Battle of Britain Memorial flight, the Red Arrows, Typhoon. And so they set up this whole charity um, where they fly cuddly giraffes in airplanes, they take photos and videos, they upload it to the website, and then people can make donations to the Just Giving site, uh, and all the money goes to a uh, Great Ormond Street Hospital. What was it about Louise's story that inspired all of this incredible work in her memory then? Well, for me, it just struck many chords, because I also have a daughter who's nine. Uh, she also loves giraffes. I'm obviously a pilot at the Air Force, so there's that connection there. Um, and every time uh, I've flown to Africa and Kenya, which uh, we do on Voyager quite a lot, my daughter would always ask me to fly one of her giraffes with me and I'd take some photos. Aww. And then last September, my wife sent me a link and she'd seen the Giraffes on Tour charity on the news. And it was because they won an award at Pride of Britain. And she said, oh, look, somebody else has been flying giraffes in airplanes too. So I clearly had to get in contact with him and, and tap to him and say, oh, look, I, I've been flying giraffes in my airplanes too. Uh, well, I mean, let's elaborate a bit more on that then. Tell us about your role in all of this and what the flight of the giraffes really is. Yeah, sure. So, as I said, I got in contact with Ian at, at the charity. I said, oh, I've been flying giraffes on my aeroplane. I said, why don't I fly one of your uh, giraffes on tour giraffes with me and we'll go on an air, air refueling mission. I'll take some photos. And so I did all of that. We sent the photos and they uploaded them to the website uh, for the charity. And as I was getting off the aeroplane, I realised... But on Voyager, we have all the passenger seats, which we clearly don't use when we're doing air-to-air refuelling. And I thought, hang on a minute, I've just done the air-to-air refuelling with the giraffe, and I had 291 empty seats behind me. So I rang Ian, I said, I've got a really silly idea. Why don't we see if we can find, between us, 291 cuddly giraffes, and we'll put one on every single seat, and we'll take them for a fly. And that's kind of where the idea of flight of giraffes came from, and, and that was about four months ago. And since then, we've been doing our best to try and find as many cuddly giraffes as we can to fly with us on the 19th of April. And uh, we're calling it Flight of the Giraffe. And it's all just a bit of fun. It's to raise awareness of the charity, to raise awareness of Louise, and see if we can just generate a bit of, of uh, money and goodwill for a great Ormond Street Hospital. Uh, it's such a wonderful, heartwarming story. Uh, and I think every single parent, myself included here, can completely relate to this and understand how important it is. Because, you know, we uh, we, we all, I guess, when you're a parent, kind of think, oh, how would I feel if I was you know, in that situation? And this is really important. How can people donate? So there's two ways we can get involved with this if you're interested. If you are a pupil in a school that's local to Bryce Norton, so we're talking in the villages surrounding like Burford, Whitney, Carterton, Farringdon, places like that, you can send me an email, flightofthegiraffes at gmail.com, and that way I'll get your name and your details and I will come to your school the day before the flight and I will pick the giraffes up 
for you, and I'll deliver them after the flight. So that's that's for if you're very local to uh, to Bryce Non. If you're a bit further afield, go to the website giraffesontour.co.uk, and in their online shop, you can buy a seat for your cuddly giraffe. The charity will send you all the postage and packaging information and uh, materials you need. They'll bring them to Bryce Norton for the day of the flight, and we'll go for the flight, and then afterwards your giraffe will be posted back to you with a ticket and a boarding card to show that they were on the flight. And we'll upload all the photos and videos to, uh, to uh, social media when we get back. That's kind of the two ways to kind of take part. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Well, I live in Farringdon, so you have probably flown over my house hundreds of times in the last uh, oh, probably. few years yeah. or so. I hear you regularly, and I'm straight on flight tracker to watch you fly over as well. I'm a bit of a, a, bit of a plane geek, as you may have been told already. Um, but I'm guessing you're going to now spend the rest of your life telling people you flew around uh, in a jet with 300 giraff giraffes in, right? Yeah, that's the plan. I, I think I'll be telling this story for many years, and, and when my daughter's all grown up, Hopefully she'll tell her friends about the time that her dad flew 300 giraffes on his aeroplane. Oh, absolutely amazing. Well, thank you for coming on and talking to us about all of this. And we would love for you to come back, actually, once you've done it, if that's all right. Yeah, that'd be brilliant, yes. Thank you so much for having me. As I say, uh, the website, www.giraffesontour.co.uk. People can find all the information. We've got a hashtag going online, hashtag Flight of the Giraffes. That'll show you all the links, everything you need, if you'd like to get involved. Amazing. Well, um, for now, thank you so much. RAF pilot Mark Scott there. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much.